So, Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth. The past few days I have made a couple of videos on it since we've recently gotten a lot of news and information about the expansion pack. Now if you want to check out the two news videos about the weapons and some screenshots then I'll kindly leave those in the description down below. Anyways, today's video is about the alien and nuke dog tags that had recently been leaked, as well as the assignments for Dragon's Teeth. So without further ado, let's begin. So starting off with the dog tags, on your screen there you can see a set of 5 premium tags and 5 tags that come standard to the DLC. So starting there on the top there's a picture of a scout heli and what looks to be either a halo or a crop circle that the helicopter is flying away from. Moving on down there's what looks to be a nuclear mushroom cloud, below that there's a group of aliens and then under the aliens there is a, either a goat or a cow holding an assault rifle. And finally, on the very bottom, there is a picture of the famous Scream painting by artist Edvard Munch. Now this one seems to be one of the more intriguing tags out of the ten. There's a bomb, or what I believe to be a nuclear bomb, above the Scream's head. Now to me, this kind of reminds me of Panic or Mass Chaos, so I really think there will be some type of nuclear levolution or a nuke that goes off in this DLC. I mean, we have had that Mushroom Cloud tag and the Scream tag, which pretty much guarantees a nuke of some sort included in Dragon's Teeth. Now if you do have any other ideas for the dog tags and what they could symbolize, by all means post them down in the comments. Moving on to our next bit of news for today, we have stumbled upon the assignment requirements to unlock each weapon for Dragon's Teeth. Now somebody went into the community test environment files I believe and found them, so I'll go through each assignment and tell you what you have to do to complete it and what the reward for doing so is. So, to unlock the Unica 6 revolver, you need to complete the Big Splash assignment. Now this assignment requires you to activate the floodgates on waterfront and get 5 kills while swimming. Now when I first heard floodgates, I was really surprised. It looks as though waterfront will have some type of floodgates system, much like on the map Wavebreaker that came with the Naval Strike DLC. Now I am assuming waterfront will be a map located along the coast or a shipping yard of some sort. Anyways, to unlock the new Bulldog weapon, you need to complete the Lions and Tigers and Bears assignment. Now this will require you to kill the other three class types while playing as an assault player 10 times each. So basically you need to kill 10 support players, 10 engineers, and 10 recons, all while playing as a medic. Seems fairly straightforward, so I doubt this will be a hard assignment to complete. Now to unlock the SIG MPX PDW in Dragon's Teeth, you need to complete the Not the Weakest Link assignment. Now to do so, you need to obtain two PDW ribbons, form a new link in Chain Link 10 times, and follow 10 squad orders. So this assignment requires a bit of teamwork to complete, but is fairly simple to do. As for Chain Link, I'll be going over what that game mode is later on in today's video, so make sure to stick around until then. So, unlocking the CS5 sniper rifle requires you to complete the I and Team assignment. Now, this consists of obtaining two sniper rifle ribbons, 10 squad beacon spawns onto your beacon, and 20 spot assists. So, again, this is a pretty straightforward assignment to complete. Now, to unlock the Desert Eagle pistol, you need to complete Recoil Kinetics. Now, this assignment cannot be completed without the Unica 6 revolver because you actually need to obtain 20 headshots while using it. And finally, to obtain the Ballistic Shield, you need to do the Vanguard assignment. Now this will require you to obtain 5 Savior kills, 20 Suppression Assists, and destroy 3 Explosives. Now I personally think that the Riot Shield will be a fan favorite to use on Operation Metro. Breaching those corners and pushing up in Rush will be a breeze once we actually have it. Now I do kind of hate those stalemates at the B-Flag because it's just full of airburst users, which can be really frustrating. Anyways, those are all the weapon assignments that come with the Dragon's Teeth DLC. I'm 99% sure they don't require you to do everything in a single round like with most of these second assault weapons. So let's move on to Chainlink and what it could potentially be focused on. Now we know that it's going to be a conquest type of game mode. A lot of people have been speculating on this being a mode where you're chained together with your teammates and you have to slowly push up. So to me that just sounds like it's a really terrible idea for a game mode and I'm fairly confident that is not what this game mode will focus on. Instead I think it's going to run as a normal conquest game but the main catch would be capturing adjacent flags. So once you're done with one set it would form a link. Now for instance if you have an A and you have a B flag in conquest, the A flag is the flag closest to your main deployment. So if you capture A and you capture B you will get one link captured or completed. 
So having this link would allow you to bleed the enemy's tickets at a faster rate. So if you have two chain links, you will bleed tickets at twice the normal rate. Now I personally think this adds a new perspective to Conquest and will make it a bit more challenging. Also it will make Conquest kind of a more fast paced game mode. With the ability to bleed ticket rates faster, I think this will be an awesome game mode and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So for the last bit of news for today, my good friend Sam Fretwell on Twitter sent me an image that occurred in the Battlefield 4 Premium video that was uploaded a few months before Battlefield 4 was released. So looking at the guy's computer screen, you can see a giant city being constructed for Battlefield 4. Now this could be just an older version of Siege of Shanghai, but I'm confident that this is one of the Dragon's Teeth maps. Now it really looks to be similar to Grand Bazaar since it was located in a city, so I'm hoping for this to be one of the maps because Urban Warfare sounds really fun since most of the Battlefield 3 maps were centered around that. Anyways, thanks to Sam for the image, I'll link his Twitter down below in the description if you want to go check him out. Anyways, that just about wraps up the news for today. The sources for this entire video are located down in the description if you're interested in reading some of it for yourself. But besides that, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it, and if you're new to my videos, then make sure to subscribe to stay on top of all the latest news for Dragon's Teeth. I want to thank you very much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Zainov, and I hope to see you all in the next one.